Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and guess where I'm going? Yep, it's Wednesday. New comic day. I made it to work. I got about 20 minutes before I have to go in and I'm going to try to grab some food if I can. Uh, I totally forgot. I wasn't actually going to go get comics today because my account as of last night was like uh, like one dollar and like 50 cents i get paid on friday it's wednesday today um so i was like all right i have enough groceries i can bring something to work to heat up in the microwave and uh you know so i'll be off my diet for a couple days but it's fine I, you know i'll make it ha i'll make it work and make it happen um but then uh luckily i, <laughs> I looked over my savings account and i forgot that halfway through the month uh like you know 25 30 bucks will go into my savings account from my main account so i was like oh i had like 30 bucks in there and oh that makes sense so 25 of it went over so i moved that 25 back and I went and picked up Venom Inc. Part 6, the conclusion of the story, uh, today on my way into work. So I was like, <laughs> I was really, really happy to pick this up. Um, and that, you know, it's just because I want more Venom material to read. And the last issue, I was kind of in the middle of the story, was kind of getting a little bored with it. So the last issue kind of picked me up a little bit again, and I'm, I'm anxious to read the, uh, the conclusion. So for now, I'll put the link here. Someone out there, the first person to put that code in at marvel.com slash redeem, uh, you'll, get the, uh, you'll get the book. You'll get a free digital copy of the book. So enjoy that. Um, hopefully you like it. And uh, we'll give away, we have two more digital comics to give away that are Venom related after this. We have Old Man Hawkeye that we'll give out in like a couple episodes from now. And then we have the last part of the new Lethal Protector, which I think is Venom issue 158. And then until next month's issue of Venom, I won't have any more Venom content, but I might have some other Marvel books. And if I pick up any other Marvel books, I'll give them out to you guys just as a thank you. Uh, but yeah, so enjoy that book for whoever wins it. And then we'll do like a full review. I haven't done like, I've done breakdowns and talked about, you know, graphic novels of Venom and stuff, but I haven't done a real review. And, uh, and I'm, I, I like to dissect things with a review. So if you guys want a review of this series, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video, especially since it's been kind of slow news wise uh, lately after last week. So if you guys want me to do like a full review of this six part crossover, I will. But bef you know, before I get to that, or even if I don't do it, uh, go pick it up. If you're a Venom fan, you should be reading Venom Incorporated. It's Venom, it's Spider-Man, it's Flash Thompson, it's Black Cat. It's a lot of great characters uh, teaming up and fighting against each other and a lot of stuff going on. Uh, the villains, kind of weak i'm not a big fan of the villain but uh but th that, that seems to always happen right <laughs> a lot of a lot of people have trouble writing villains nowadays um the key to writing a villain though is that they don't know they're the villain that's the thing they they think they're doing something uh that it needs to be done and uh the problem with this is this guy is very cartoony and over the top and clearly like a you know bad villain but sometimes that's fun too and it does lead to some fun moments uh but uh, i don't know if there's any movie news or anything we can talk about after this i'll get into the next topic right now but uh anyone out there who won this thank you comment down below if you want me to do a review of it and we'll do it uh you know maybe in a week or so Honestly, I didn't think I was going to be making this video so soon after crossing 700 subscribers, uh, which we did like less than a month ago. And uh, that was amazing. And I was always very happy to see this channel grow in this way and get the response it's been getting ever since I created the Venom Vlog show. And uh, and so when, you know, all these years I've been trying to find my stride on this, on this you know, station, on this platform, I guess, of YouTube. And uh, and I never really hit my niche. I, I, I came close a few times, I think. I think people would have loved for me to do Transformers in my car more. I had a lot of views on those videos, but I didn't get a lot of subscribers from it, just a lot of views. Um, and then, you know, I started the channel as a Transformer channel at first with the first couple videos. And then became a variety channel where I was like, oh, every other episode, I'll just review something different, a comic, a movie, whatever I can afford. And then it eventually got to the point where I was putting money into the show by just buying things to review and not even things I wanted sometimes. And, uh, and I saw like, you know, I was just the, the few extra dollars I was able to, you know, get from work and, and earn, um, just was being wasted, uh, in some regard. And I was like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. This is, you know, it's not ha happening. I, I don't have like a, a, a toy review kind of personality, I guess, and it's not really catching on. So let me try a couple other things. And, and, and I tried a lot, uh, but unfortunately I just couldn't find my stride and, and I think the Venom vlog is it and I, I see that in the numbers and I see that in the, the feedback and, and the fact that people have asked me to come back on Facebook and, and be more interactive with people and uh, and it's it's done what I've always wanted it to do which is connect me with people who love something that like that I love uh, and can you know us share what we love about it back and forth and this is really working and plus I get to tie it into something that I really liked doing which were vlogs where I could tell you about my life and up update you guys on how I'm feeling.
following and what I'm doing because I do have people who follow me here that you know, saw me on Harmontown and just want an update on me to make sure I'm doing okay. And, uh, and so I, this is a nice way to combine all that and as silly as it sounds you know w uh, with a character that i kind of connect with in a lot of ways and in some ways you probably shouldn't connect with the character you know with eddie brock and me both being you know at one point willing to take our own lives um and i when i saw that kind of connection it made me understand the character in a different way and made me look at him in a different way and i'm also you know a comic book writer and a novelist and uh, and I, I try to really dissect characters and get in their heads. And this was a character I never thought of dissect, dissecting too much. I just thought, oh, he's just a fun character. I like him because he's Venom and because Todd McFarlane drew him and, and Eric Larson drew him and Mark Bagley drew him and Ron Lim drew him and, you know, all these great artists uh, and and then, you know, Kelly Jones and everything. And, um, and I just, you know, always liked the character for that reason uh, from a visual sense but uh, but now as I'm older I started to connect with him and understand him more and uh, and, and kind of feel his pain of uh, rejection in a lot of ways too and, and and also feel his pain of struggling day to day uh, just just getting through the day um, and that's what ultimately made me want to do this show and then when I saw Tom Hardy training I was like hey I used to work out to uh, Venom you know like like I Venom the comic I was like oh he's always lifting weights I'm going to try to go lift weights now with my little brother who worked out all the time. And uh, and that was good for me back then. It helped me get through some tough times uh, when I was younger of, uh, of dealing with, you know, the world and stuff at, at an, a young age of like 18, 19 and 20. Um, so I've always, I just always liked this character and he always kind of meant something to me in a way and now even more so. So I'm glad I found my stride and I had people criticize and say, hey, you've been on five years, maybe you should change your strategy. And it's like, I have and I found the thing that I'm good at now it's the Venom vlog and uh, and I, I'm doing something that a lot of people there's not like you know there's a couple other channels out there that are very focused on Venom and stuff uh, but not you know maybe the way I'm doing it or the way I'm delivering it and it doesn't tie into the host's personal life in the way mine does um, so you know I think I'm giving something hopefully interesting and and and, uh, and and something you guys find refreshing and something you don't find somewhere else on the internet and i'm hoping that's why you come here is uh is hopefully because i deliver something that you haven't found anywhere else and uh and and that means a lot to me if that's the case uh so i appreciate everything and then when you know the ad thing came in today where you know youtube reached out to a lot of small uh youtubers like myself and said hey we're going to demonetize you if you don't hit a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours watched on your channel i freaked out because at first I, I was reading it on the way to work and i was trying not to you know i don't want to crash my car or anything um so i didn't get the information right away and i reacted to it badly and then after i watched uh, philip defranco's video on it and he kind of explained things um and why this is happening it calmed me down and it made me realize okay it's not not, it's actually not the end of the world um, and I didn't think it was in the beginning anyway I just was it felt like a really hardcore as he put it uh, Philip DeFranco a slap in the face um, because and I know it wasn't personal to me and I know there's a lot of other people what made me mad was I saw other people that I like on YouTube on their Instagram and Facebook posting that they got this notification too and I was like no but that channel's it's a good channel like they're growing just give them time to grow uh and then they said we have to do it by february by february 20th and i'm like that's not enough time for some of these channels to get to that mark um and that's going to drive a lot of them away and I, I don't want that to and i don't and i saw david the film junkies video too um obviously i follow that guy he's an awesome dude but i didn't like some of his comments uh that he made about like oh if you're in this for the money then you're in it for the wrong reasons and if you if if this is enough to drive you away maybe you shouldn't have been it to begin with um no that's not the case you you don't fact factor in when you make comments like that you don't factor in what other people's lives are like and how, how in, intense and, and insane they can be and that they look at this as something that represents their level of their bubble of sanity um it's their form of escape that's what i try to do you know as a storyteller and as a writer i you know i m m like to provide escapism and i like to pro you know provide information on things that i love and and hope other people love it too and for other people it's they like sorting lego bricks or they like talking about lego products um, or they like to do streams where they talk to their friends and they you know and that it's just something that simple where they're just talking to people all around the world that they you know came in contact with online and they just do a show where they talk together um you know it's it's these people have lives and like for me like i have medical 
bills like piling up and for me youtube like twitch was really great when i went to twitch and i'm still on twitch and i still stream over there because that has become self-sufficient i've been very fortunate for that channel to grow in just a just over a year over five you know almost 500 uh, followers in there so i i knew i was doing something right over there and luckily people were supporting the channel financially donating to it and helping me get games and, and upgrade to you get a camera so they can see me while I play games uh, get me a new controller when my controller died uh, these are things that happen over there because people enjoy the content that much and I always hoped YouTube was gonna get there um, because you know having an extra hundred bucks every couple months actually does help me a ton um, it, it would help me a lot with bills right now I owe my roommate $125 and I feel terrible that's been two weeks I still haven't been able to pay him yet if I had a YouTube check that came in that was like 110 bucks that would make that easier um, so this this money as little as it is to some of you out there it can help some of us and so we yeah we're in it partly for the money and hope that we can make it if we don't we don't and that's fine it's not the end of the world for us uh, but we we put a lot of our you know uh, time and effort into these just like everyone else does and I try really hard I've tried to learn things about editing things I didn't know before to, to up the value of my videos and I, I'm still you know recording on my phone this is the best I can do because I am tech stupid you know like I <laughs> I just I don't click with technology that well um, and so and it's a, fr a daily frustration for me trust me um, sometimes when I look at a cash register I'm still like oh my god what do I do uh, but that's just that's just who I am that's how I, I that's the tr struggle I have learning things um, so you know when you make comments like that it does you know I'm not this is not slamming David obviously he's a great guy and I know what he means overall but comments like that you know it doesn't factor in you know what people are going through and for me seeing that was like I'm finally making after five years finally making progress on this channel and we're and I can see light at the end of the tunnel in a couple months we'll be at a thousand subscribers and then YouTube comes in and says well you don't have a couple months you have 30 days and I'm just like oh you know and I'm like is it impossible no do I like challenges sure uh, but I've had enough obstacles in my life and I kind of was hoping this wouldn't be one uh, like in, in on this level um, but it is and I you just have to deal with it and I have to deal with it and everyone out there you know unfortunately I feel bad because um, you know a lot of you guys have great channels so if you're out there and I'm not subscribed to you and you want to comment on this video please do and I will subscribe to you if you need subscribers let's do that you know like if I get enough views on this video I know I'm still small but you know comment down below write me on Facebook write me on Instagram and I will subscribe to you I absolutely I'll do what I can to help and I'll post about it if I can too um, that's that's the only way we're going to get around this is helping each other uh so you know i'm down to do that because today a lot of people came out and helped me when i was at work today i actually got notifications but i, I can't have my phone when i'm at work um so i have to have it like in a locker and stuff and when i went on my break finally uh i saw like a lunch lunch break i saw um a mic uh, at m-i-k-e-h-u-l-y-k um and at sneaky mike s-n-e-a-k-i-e uh, M I K E and then uh, at not underscore really underscore a underscore welder not really a welder um, I saw these three individuals uh, amongst many others uh, reposting my post on, uh, on on Instagram and then also on on Facebook and asking their friends to subscribe to me and I was blown I was really touched by that because I was like oh that's really nice like, it'll be, it's okay like you know you guys don't have to do it I'll just keep making content I'll do what I can and we'll try to beat this thing and if we can't at least I know I gave it my best effort and if we cross a thousand in a few months we can always reapply and go through the hoops that they're gonna make us go through and go through the waiting that they're gonna make us go through and it just it's a bummer because I've already approved myself as a partner by getting the amount of things they needed before and then they changed the requirements with this so it's like oh so I'm like back to ground zero again um, so that's the only reason I got frustrated um, and and then when I learned more and more about it I was like okay I'm a little less frustrated and I kind of see where you YouTube's coming from I don't agree with it but I kind of see it uh, but uh, then at the end of the day I had this you know revelation of like a self revelation of like well you know I I shouldn't look at this that I'm like I'm working for YouTube and cause that's kind of how I've been looking at it I'm like they gave me this great platform it's I'm very grateful to have something like this and I'm glad they made it so all of us could 
get to this point even uh, we're very lucky to have that and uh, and to connect with each other and and even we're very, even very lucky to argue with each other uh, you know about about stupid things like movies and stuff it's it's a privilege to, to do that um so you know when i when i got this information i was like you know obviously i was bummed but i was like well we, we'll figure it out we'll, we'll cross all the bridges they need us to cross we'll do what we can and then i saw these three individuals and more people just posting about it and i saw notifications coming in left and right left and right and when we started the day when i went to work and i was recording the opening of this video it was 731 subscribers i think we had and most of that was just from us as venom vlog people you know that i got over the past two months we went from 620 or so all the way up to um you know 700 and more into 731 and then i'm at work and all of a sudden i start getting all these notifications by the time i get home from work we're at 833 and i I just didn't know what to do. I shut down. I was so overwhelmed uh, by that kind of response, by all of you and and, and you guys getting the word out there um, and friends of mine. I, I recognized a lot of names on there and it really meant something to me to see a lot of those people because a couple of the names I saw on there, I don't know if it's true or not, but I just assumed maybe they wrote me off that, you know, they were like, ah, yeah, you know, whatever. He was a nice guy, but uh, you know, we all move on. And I saw a couple names on there that made me just feel really good and I and it made me want to work harder for you guys and so like I said I don't work for YouTube I work for you uh, you guys are my bosses I have 848 of you right now and uh, or 42 842 I think and uh, and I am so very grateful so I will continue to make videos for you guys whether we get demonetized or not you know because even though I wouldn't have mind having a few extra dollars it it does at the end of the day I'm, I'm still gonna find a way to get by because that's what i do I, I i jump over obstacles that is like my superpower and i will continue to do it for you guys and i'll continue to make videos for you guys as long as you want me to and the venom vlog is not going anywhere i post them on twitch and youtube so if you ever don't want to watch them here on youtube you can watch them on twitch um, and if anything happens to this channel i'll post them on vimeo i'll post them somewhere i think amazon's going to do a new streaming service whatever it is i'll jump on it and i'll keep getting content out to you guys uh, and that's just because i am so very grateful that you supported me this way and got me a hundred subscribers in one day which is 10 times more in one day than i've ever seen my channel get i think the most i got was like a 12 subscribers in a day once and uh, and i remember that being like the greatest day ever and seeing a hundred today because of all of you coming together it means so much to me. So I will continue to make these videos, I promise. And speaking to creating these videos, I will say that I've been working behind the scenes on getting some very special stuff for you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking about Carnage. When are you gonna talk about Carnage? I'm gonna talk about Carnage. We are gonna do Carnage Week on this channel. And I'm gonna do at least one video a day. We're gonna break down the Carnage classic graphic novel. We're gonna talk about Maximum Carnage, maybe even the video game too, not just the comic book. Uh, we're gonna talk about Venom versus Carnage, which is the first appearance of Toxin. We're gonna to talk about uh, the Zeb Wells Carnage stuff with Carnage USA and everything. We're gonna talk about the Jerry Conway uh, Carnage storylines that have been coming out recently with uh, John Jameson and Eddie Brock as Toxin. We're gonna to do a whole week of carnage and then i think either to begin that week or end that week i actually lined up some interviews for you guys the first interview is with a guy named david quinn really nice guy been a facebook friend of mine for years follows me on instagram when i left facebook he was following me on instagram and uh, just a really really nice guy and he wrote a carnage one shot in the 90s called carnage it's a wonderful life and that book's always stuck with me and i reread it recently and i was like i gotta reach out to david i'm pretty sure he's the guy who he's the david quinn that wrote this story so i'm gonna reach out to him and see if he'll do an interview so i can bring you guys some really neat content and not just hear my opinions of carnage and my dissection of these characters and who i think they are as a as a you know amateur writer trying to get an the comics but you will hear it from a pro who has actually written the character and i thought that would be really cool so we're going to do an interview with david quinn my roommate is nice enough to let me borrow his very expensive equipment and live room to, uh, that he uses for his podcast called mad scientist party hours please check it out kevin craft he's awesome and he's letting me use it so i can get the best quality i mean this these will be the best videos uh, that i ever do it'll be all audio but i'll try to get some cool visuals from the comic book going on while I'm talking to David. Um, so yeah, a big shout out to Kevin for letting me use that stuff because not only are we going to use it for David's interview, 
but we're also going to talk to Ann Nascenti, who's this great comic book writer that I grew up with, who wrote Daredevil, and a lot of great runs for a lot of great characters, and she has a, she has a very interesting style to her, her writing. Um, she has a very interesting voice to these characters, and she wrote a, a Venom miniseries that sticks with me still to this day called Venom the Madness, where Eddie Brock goes into the sewer and gets like mixes the symbiote with this weird chemical, and it drives the symbiote insane, and the symbiote you know develops extra heads, and they're all whispering at Eddie, and they're driving him mad. Uh, hence why it's called the madness and in the middle of all this in the middle of him losing his mind he has to fight the juggernaut from the x-men and the art is by kelly jones it's a fantastic book um so we're actually going to get into the head of venom through someone who's written the character before too and you're not just going to hear my opinion of who i think eddie brock is and how i would write him if i ever got the chance one day but how someone who actually has written him you know wrote him and what she thinks of him as a character. So I have those two interviews coming up for you. I have Carnage Week coming up. A lot of stuff I'm going to work on, and we're going to get them out soon because February 20th, I'm still eyeing that as my deadline. I'm going to do everything I can to get us over a 1,000 subscribers. And with you guys helping me, I know we can do it. So thank you so much for getting us to 800. It means the world to me. And uh, I will definitely have more content for you soon. I looked up some other casting stuff. There's other news out there. Not a ton, though. But uh, if nothing else, like I said, I'll break down some comic books this week for you guys. So we'll talk more. We'll talk about Venom the Madness. We'll talk about Venom uh, the Mace. <laughs> I know I got a request for that. Um, someone requested me to eat another toy box. So I actually have one right here. Uh, this is Black Suit Spider-Man. I just saw this at Target the other day, or Walmart the other day, for like $6. So I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. I had another, I had two requests to eat another box <laughs> for a toy review. So um, yeah, I'll do it. And I have another eating video uh, of a toy, but different than this, that you guys might like too. I don't know. I'm weird, and you know, Venom has a weird sense of humor, so I figured I should let my weird sense of humor come out in, the, in you know, every couple videos or so. So that'll be coming up too. So as always, guys and gals, thank you so much for today, for always being here, the people who have been subscribed for years, people who have supported me since the beginning, people who support me now, like just thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for, for helping me, you know, uh, keep going because, you know, I've almost deleted this channel a couple times because I just didn't know what to do with it. I kept struggling to find an identity on here and I feel like I finally did. And it's, it's, it seems apparent because you guys are very supportive of it. So thank you for that support. Thanks for keeping me going. And, uh, we got a thousand subscribers to get to, and we're getting very, very close. Thanks to all of you. So let's keep going. Have a good night. See you in the future. Peace.